Okay, you know what? I don't care what this technique is called. Night Moth, Night Guy, who cares? Because that technique was so freaking awesome. Hey guys, in response, we 7 here bringing you Naruto chapter 672, Night Guy, or Night Moth, whichever translation you're reading. So the chapter begins with Guy preparing for his final technique against Madara. We get to see a panel of Guy's 8th chakra point where its chakra is starting to fade. And according to Madara, this will be Guy's final attack. We cut back to Naruto and Sasuke who have both woken up after receiving the powers of the Rikido Senin, but that's not all they've received. Naruto and Sasuke also received a tattoo marking. Naruto has the sun, Sasuke has the moon. SYMBOLISM! The panel is in a two-page spread, the left side being Naruto and the second side being Sasuke. Both sides are similar. EVEN MORE SYMBOLISM! Also, don't expect some sort of tearful reunion between Naruto and Sakura and Sasuke and Karin. Honestly, I'm kinda glad that wasn't included in this chapter. With Guy Sensei, he is getting ready for his final attack as more energy bursts out from him. Kakashi gets a flashback of him and Guy meeting for the very first time. Sakumo, Kakashi's father, was greeting Guy and Dai, assuming that Guy is entering the academy. However, Kakashi tells him that Guy flunked the academy entrance exam. So yeah, apparently there is an entrance exam for the academy. Okay. But how does that explain Kakashi and Guy and the rest of the Jonin back when they were kids during the Obito flashback, when we saw Obito heading towards the academy? Well, in the flashback, Sakumo mentioned about a waiting list admission, so maybe Guy was also on that list, hence why he was able to enter the academy. Although, this makes you wonder what kind of entrance exam was used, and if there was an entrance exam this whole time, it makes you wonder how Naruto even passed when he was a kid. Well, anyway, because of the misunderstanding, Sakumo apologizes to Dai, but Dai just laughs it off. However, Kakashi, whether you like him or hate him, you can kind of tell that he was being a jerk to Guy in this one. He was saying that Guy is a kid trying to get into a ninja academy, but he can't even use any ninjutsu. Kakashi and Sakumo were about to leave, but before they do, Guy stops him, saying, Your name was Hatake Kakashi, wasn't it? Thank you for cheering me on. He gives Kakashi a thumbs up, and Kakashi's face is like, what the hell is wrong with this kid? Now, Sakumo noticed that Guy's hands and feet were bruised up. He tells Kakashi that he shouldn't be slacking off in the academy because at this rate, Guy could become even stronger than Kakashi. And he even tells him to remember his name because he'd make a great rival. So, Kakashi and Guy were destined to be rivals ever since they were kids? Well, that's what it looks like, at least. Now, back in the present, the energy surrounding Guy takes the form of a dragon, and it looks so freaking awesome. Hell, even Madara is loving this, saying, As far as Taijutsu amongst those who have fought me, there hasn't been anyone who has exceeded your level. Well, since this is coming from Madara, yeah, that's actually quite the compliment. Now, this final attack, Ryu, I think that's what he called it, has not only increased his speed and strength, but he was even capable of twisting the very air around him. Maybe that explains the appearance of the dragon aura. Then... Boom! Kicks Madara right in the freaking gut so hard, he's coughing up blood. Not only that, but he crushed Madara's ribs. In fact, the force of the attack was so strong, the bones in Guy's leg broke. And the sheer speed of the attack has kicked Madara so far, all the way up to the base of the Shinju. That's how freaking strong this attack is, and oh my god, this will be even more epic in the anime. So, you know, even though this was Guy's final attack, it looked really, really cool. And we even get a better look at Guy's body. Now, the clothing on his upper half is completely gone. Guy's body has turned into a darker shade of red, I'm assuming. 
and there's lines appearing all over his body. I think those are his veins or something. Now, that's not all the damage that has been inflicted upon Madara. Apparently, that attack not only broke his ribs, but it completely destroyed his left side. His arm is missing, and he's missing a big chunk of his upper half of his body. But apparently, Madara can regenerate and heal his wounds because... Remember guys, he has Senju DNA, and Senju DNA is always the solution to everything, apparently. Although, I don't know if Senju DNA can regenerate his internal organs. I'm pretty sure he's missing a heart and a lung. Maybe even a part of his stomach and kidney. With Guy, he's seriously knocking on death's door because the chakra in his pressure point fades even further and his leg starts to turn into ash. Apparently, when you activate all eight chakra gates, your body turns to ash. Damn. Guy Sensei, you have earned even more of my respect. Now with Madara, he was grateful for Guy for entertaining him with his eight chakra gates. So in return, he decides to kill him himself by launching one of his Omnioten balls towards his body before he turns into ashes. However, Guy is saved thanks to Naruto who pops in out of the Kami dimension, kicking the Omnioten ball back towards Madara, which by the way, apparently that thing is called Gurodama, the truth-seeking ball. Although I was under the impression that thing can latch onto other people's body like it did with Minato's arm, but Naruto is capable of kicking it, so, um, okay. Now, Naruto, with his sun-marked hand, places some sort of seal onto Guy's chest. I don't know how the hell he can do that, but it's probably because of the Rikido sending power-up he got, which keeps the chakra from the eighth pressure point from completely fading. So, Guy's not dead yet. I swear to God, if Guy lives after eight chakra gates, I will call... Bullshit! So anyway, Mara noticed that there was something different about Naruto, and Naruto replies, Yeah, I'm finding it even mysterious myself. Now, I feel like I can change everything. We get to see Naruto's eyes, which looks like the Sage Mode QB mixture, and that is where the chapter ends. So yeah, that was Naruto chapter 672, what did I think? I thought this chapter was good, I liked it, but I can't call it great or awesome because the ending kind of ruined it a bit for me. Nonetheless, I still thought this chapter was pretty good. Guy's final technique looked so freaking cool with that epic kick. It will look even more awesome in the anime. And Kakashi's flashback to when him and Guy first met, I kind of liked it because it wasn't too long. It was just three pages and it was also foreshadowed of their eventual rivalry. Now with the fight itself, I wasn't expecting this to end like this. I mean, I'm sure as hell wasn't expecting Guy's body to disintegrate into ash, or at least it was starting to in the process. But I really thought that Guy was going to at least die an honorable death because I know Madara is going to fight against Naruto and Sasuke. I just wanted Guy to at least inflict some serious damage onto Madara before he dies. And since that happened, I was relieved by that. So I thought Guy was going to die an honorable death. But no, Naruto comes in and saves him. And he uses a seal to give him more chakra on that pressure point. This really did bother me, especially what happened before Naruto showed up. But I don't think Naruto saved his life. We all know, ever since the tuning exams in part 1, it was established that when you unleash all 8 chakra gates, you die. So I don't think Naruto, since he's got the power of the Rikido Seni now, will even save Guy's life. I think that seal will only delay Guy's death for only a couple moments until he officially dies. Because if he does survive somehow in the most bullshittiest way possible, He's gonna probably spend the rest of his life either in crutches or in a wheelchair. His ninja career is definitely done if he does survive. And it would be kind of pointless after how it was built up to Guy's 8th chakra gate. It would be complete bullshit if Guy does survive. Don't get me wrong, I like Guy, but this would have been great writing if we were to die an honorable death like this. So if Guy survives somehow from 8 chakra gates, I will call bullshit. I mean, the final 8th gate was called Gate of Death. It's in the title, for God's sakes. Now, with Naruto and Sasuke, since they got the power of the Rikido Seni now, uh, it seems that Naruto so, at first I thought he was in sage mode, but I noticed that the eye shadow wasn't there, so it was just the basic sage mode QB mixture eyes. So I guess that's like one power that he has now, and also the power of that seal thing. So what is Sasuke's powers going to be? People are still saying that it's going to be the Renegon, which, you know, okay, but... I thought you need the mixture of both Ashra and Indra's chakra in order to get the Renegon, but I am looking forward to seeing what Naruto's power is going to be and what Sasuke's power is going to be.
be. Although, this begs the question, where the hell is Obito and Sakura? I'm pretty sure they're out of the Kami dimension. You know, overall, I thought this chapter was good, although the ending kind of bothered me a bit, but I still like the chapter nonetheless, and I will call bullshit, though, if Guy does survive from eight chakra gates. But I am looking forward to next week's chapter to see what Naruto and Sasuke are going to do and what their new powers are going to be. So yeah, that's Naruto chapter 672. Tell me, guys, what did you think of this week's chapter? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What are your thoughts of Guy's final attack? And do you think Naruto saved Guy's life? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you like it and subscribe to more videos. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook fan page and Google+. So yeah, that is Naruto chapter 672. I'm Lunar Spawn 27 and I will see you guys later. Bye!